The diagram shows part of the graph y equal to 18 over x. So let's label this. This is my graph y equal to 18 over x. And the normal to the curve at the point 63. So here we have the point 63 is the normal to the curve. Okay. Now this normal meets the x axis at R right here. Okay, great. And the point Q is on the x axis. Okay. And the point S on the curve are such that PQ and SR are on the same direction to the y-axis. So PQ is this one, and SR, this one, they are vertical lines. Okay, great to know. Now part one, we have to find the equation of the normal at P. We have to show that R is a point this, so pretty easy. To find the equation of a straight line, we must first find the gradient of P. Now we understand that because it is a perpendicular line, we will first have to go find the gradient of the tangent, which is also called dy by dx. Now why is this? Let's recall y. y can be rewritten as 18x power minus 1. Right. Now to find dy by dx, so dy by dx, that will be what? 18. That will be x. Have to uh, multiply by minus 1 first. That will be minus here. Then minus 2. That should be minus 18 over the value of x2. Okay, now what else do we need to do? So we have this, we have to find the gradient, so dy by dx at the value of p, p is the value of x is equal to 6, as you can see here, right? So what is the value? That will be minus 18 divided by 36, that should be minus half. Right, so the gradient of the um, so this value is equal to the gradient of tangent is minus half now we know that mp or the gradient of the uh, normal is perpendicular to the tangent this will lead to gradient of the normal have to be the value of 2 now since we have the gradient and we have the passing point we can find the equation pretty easily let me continue over here the passing point was found to be 6 3 this is the x value and the y value. So y minus its corresponding value over x minus its corresponding value will be equal to the gradient, which is 2. 2 is 2 over 1. Now we just have to cross multiply. You will have y minus 3 is equal to 2x minus 12. So y will be 2x minus 12 plus 3. That will be y is 2x minus the value of, of 9. Okay, this will be the equation of the normal at p. Now we have to show the value of r, or the point r is given to you by this. Now the point r is on the x-axis. Now we know that on the x-axis, what do we know? The value of y has to be 0. We place it back in your equation, you will have 0 is 2x minus 9. So 2x will be the value of 9, so x will be the value of 4.5. So we have shown that the point r will be 4.5, which is 4.5 and, and 0. That will be shown as required as well. That will be part one of the question. Now let's move on to part two of the question. So we have to show the volume of the solid obtained when the region is rotated through 360 above the x-axis. Now again, we have to know by definition or by memorization, when you rotate around the x-axis, we have to use this formula, which is the integration, and that will be pi y squared with respect to dx. Now what are the limits? As you can see, we have this point and this point. This is 4.5 and the point Q is simply 6, right? This is the x value of the point Q because it is directly below P. P has x value 6. If it is exactly below, it will be 6 as well. So the limits will be 6 and 4.5. So let's see what do we get. Now y is equal to this or this, y square will be what? 18 square over x square. Now what is 18 square? That will be 324. And then we can bring this up, that will be x power minus 2. Let's replace that, that will be pi, we can take this outside, you will have 324x power minus 2 with respect to dx. That will be 6 and 4.5. So simplify. 3, 2, 4, pi, integration of 6, 4.5, power, minus 2. 
So step by step, first we have to do what? First we have to add 1 to the power. This is just a constant, right? We can leave this outside. We add 1, that will be minus 1, then divide by the same power, and that's it. That will be 6 and 4.5. So you will have, let's see, 324 pi. First one you will have minus 1 over x, x is 6, then minus, minus 1 over 4.5. Let's see what do we get. So minus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 4.5, that will be this. Then multiply by the value of, sorry, minus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 4.5. That should be this value. Multiply by 324, that should be 18. 18 pi for the units cube for the volume of the shape. As you can see, the most important part here was knowing when you rotate something about the x-axis, we have to use this formula right here, pi y square. And the limits you can see clearly, we have to find those two points. And because they are vertical lines, this one we know it has to be exactly below p. p is the value of x is 6, which means q will also have the value of x as 6. The point q will be 6, 0. Now we have found this already from part 1, we can use that as your limit as well. And then otherwise, everything else pretty simply, we can just use that, proceed step by step, and then solving to find the volume of the shape. And that will be the question in relation to integration.